Hello everybody, how are you all doing? And it's December, it's the time for festivities, Christmas and New Year. And what other better way to wish someone Merry Christmas digitally? And that too, a code that you have written by yourself. Wouldn't that be so exciting? So that's what we're going to do today. It's a very exciting project. It's simple, but all I want you all to do is sit along with me code. I'm going to explain it and we're going to code this simultaneously. Okay. So here are a few things that we'll be learning. Okay. Most importantly, we will be using the turtle module. That is the most prominent one. And here are a few things that we'll be learning. All the basic turtle movements, then uh, adding background images, adding sound to turtle, on-screen click. That is a very, very special one. My favorite. Next, we'll be learning how to write letters and also the most interesting part, making a recursive Christmas tree using Turtle. Now, without wasting any more time, let's hop right into this exciting project. Here are a few modules that you will need to perform this. That is Turtle, Time and Random. And also for the sound, that is the music you use from Pygame, you import only the mixer because that's all we need for now. Let's move on to firstly making the Christmas tree. So for now, let's keep aside the list colors because I will be using that for the stars. So go ahead and type a list named colors and I have chosen the color cyan, yellow and light yellow. Very calm and cool, you know. Next, what is variable n? n decides the height of the tree. So you can change it according to your preference. I have kept it 45, suits my project. Now speed zero is the speed at which the pen moves. Okay, now zero is the highest speed possible in turtle and we need the tree to go really, really quick. Okay, pen size, I have kept it as two because I want it to be a little more thicker. All right, um, and next we go ahead and say BG pick and to that you must pass a dot GIF extended picture, okay? not jpg or png so i will be adding a site as to where you can convert your images to gif so you could just directly go ahead and hit that so i have given a, in a picture snow.gif and also i have edited my picture to size according to the window on our simple microsoft uh, powerpoint okay i find it best to do it out there next we go ahead and initialize the mixer and load the music jingle bells mp3 now i really like that music i uh, yeah i'll go ahead and provide the link to that too so you'll get everything okay don't worry keep coding along with me okay now here's the very very important thing pen up pen up basically means that i don't want the turtle pointer to be seen okay i without it being seen i want it to move from one point to another because Whenever you say go forward or go backward, it will always draw a line wherever it moves. To hide that, you say pen up. So I wanted to go to position 0 and minus 130, so a little bit higher from the usual screen so that I can start start drawing my Christmas tree. And guess, I guess you all have already seen it in the thumbnail. You all will get that pretty well. And now I want the Christmas tree to be drawn, right? So that needs to be visible. And for that, you apply pen down. Next, we move 90 degrees to the left and we go forward by 3 into n. So what does 3 into n means? Basically our height. So we need to increase the height by 3 into n. Now 3, you can take anything. 1, 2, 3, anything or 4, anything will do. It all depends on what you want your height to be. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and draw the star. Okay, the Christmas star tree star right on top. So I'm going to use the function color that takes two parameters. Firstly, the border and next the color to be filled with. Okay. And next I go ahead and say begin fill. I say go ahead and mo left move or left rotate by 126 degrees. Now this entire part basically draws the star. Instead of explaining it this way, I'm going to go ahead and open up this image. Let's understand it from here. 
From the arrow, I want it to rotate left by 126 degrees. So it starts right at this point, okay? Next, I we have five points. So I put it inside a loop saying for i in range five. Now, again, we have n divided by five. So I want it to move forward to that length. You can make it however you want it to, okay? Then it's just a game trial and error of numbers. Now I say rotate right by 144 degrees. Why 144? Because if you see a 180 degree minus 144 gives us 36 degrees. That's what I want the inner angle of the star to be. And that's it. We keep repeating. Go forward. Rotate by 72 this time because the outer angle will be smaller and the inner angle will be larger this time, right? And that's it. Keep doing the same thing and after you're done, end fill. End fill is extremely important. And lastly, we did left turn by 126. We need to undo that, right? Hence, right turn by 126 again. And at the end, you again have your arrow right out here facing upward. Now, let's go back to your code. We are done with this. And I'm going to draw the Christmas tree with the white color. Hence, I changed the color of the pen to white now. Remember, it was yellow. And... Why has this backward come? N into 4.8. Again, all about playing with numbers. Remember I said the arrow is last at the at here facing upward. We need to get it down, right? To get it down just a little bit to start drawing the branches of the tree from here. So it just goes down a little bit. You all will be able to see the image once we run this thing. So now let's come down here and... I'm calling the tree with 12 comma n. What is 12 comma n? 12 basically denotes the number of branches. Okay, just to make it simple, number of branches that it will draw. The more you increase the more increase this number 12, the more intricate your tree will be. And n obviously being 45 will be your height. Now let's come up here and define the tree function. We take d and s just two parameters i'm changing the pen size to four now i want to, it to be a little more thicker from two now whenever we see that d that is the branch number value has become zero we want it to stop because the tree needs to stop drawing somewhere right and this is basically it this is an entire recursion format which deals with complete idea of number keep trying and you'll get problems and issues you try and fix that by changing numbers okay so all you do is what these three recursive calls does is it basically draws the branch for you okay you uh, let me see if i can go and explain this okay your branch will basically look that, like this you have one out here okay let me go in increase it you have one out here next it goes and creates another the second recursion will go and create something like this and the other one will go and create something like this okay so basically you'll keep getting branches this way throughout and go ahead and type this down this is basically the function of your tree and now you need to keep going backward okay because i'll be showing you all it starts from the tip of the entire branch and it goes backward, okay? Hence, you need to keep going backward. Lastly, after the entire tree is drawn, I will be just putting a small uh, trunk down there, which will be done by backward n by two, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and run this and just have a look at how it looks like. See, the star is drawn and there you go. It went up, put a little distance from the star and now it's drawing the branches tip at two backward, okay? And that's basically it. I hope you all got it now. I'm going to go ahead and close this and let's move ahead with drawing our moon. We always have a nice pretty moon out there. So this is what it will basically do. I've given it a color light yellow and I have said begin fill and I want it to go to the position. Mm, let me run this again. I want it to be here, okay, right out here. So this is again a game of coordinates. You calculate where this will kind of fall sort of. And I want it to be here. So I say minus 180 because I need to go to the left, okay? Imagine this window as a four coordinate, okay? You have basically 
the first coordinate, the second, third, and fourth out here. So you need to go to the second, that is minus x plus y. That's what we'll be doing. And that's it. Uh, uh, you must say pen up because you don't want an entire line being drawn there. And after saying pen down, you say circle with a radius of 25 and you end fill it. Now that our moon is done, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you all how the screen stars are made. Okay. This is a very simple uh, function on screen click. So as the name says, wherever you click on the screen, the star will be drawn right there. I'm going to go ahead and make the pen size two again, because otherwise it's going to be a very thick stars, which might end up looking like flowers. Okay. And don't forget to give in a done. Okay. Otherwise you'll get errors. The total screen basically won't close. So on screen click takes the first parameter as a function. And next is uh, one. Uh, basically, one shows your left mouse click. Okay, left mouth mouse click is number one, and right number two will be right click, left mouse click. Okay, now the function stars has to take only two parameters. That is, stars will take two parameters. That is x and y coordinates only. Because whenever you say on screen click, it automatically takes in the coordinate of the point where you clicked and passes it to the function stars. All right. Now let's go ahead and see how the stars looks like. So as I said, the parameter will be X and Y. And now what I want to do is whenever the stars are drawn, I don't want the turtle to be seen. Otherwise, the fun won't be there. Right. So I say hide turtle. Next, remember the colors list I told you all to take. So that's what I'll be doing, taking a random choice of colors from the colors list and I'm storing it into the variable colors. Now, there's a certain length of stars that you want to have. What you do is you want each star to be of a different size. So what I say is I make a function length select and I return a random integer between three to eight. This is my smallest star. This is my largest star. You can change your values accordingly. Now I store that in a variable length. I put the color and I say pen up again and I say go to X comma Y. Okay, because the turtle needs to go to the position where you clicked, right? And you don't want that line to be seen and hence pen up, go to X comma Y and pen down again. And then you say begin fill and remember the star that we just saw, you'll be applying the same exact logic for five tips of the star. This is 80% of what we have done. I'm going to go ahead and uh, mixer.music.play. Okay. I want it to start playing exactly when the tree starts drawing. So go ahead and place it right out here. Now that's it. A max of the code is done. I'm going to go ahead and give it a run. Let me close this one. Okay. You see the moon out here? Pretty nice, right? Okay. And there you go. You hear the sound. You hear the music now. This is the tree. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this a little bit so that you all can see how the moon exactly looks like. Okay, now that you see the tree is almost done, looks very nice, right? Here's your moon. And you can go ahead and give stars. See, I clicked it there and you have a star. You get random colors, yellow light, yellow and cyan. Very pretty. There you go. Works absolutely fine. I'm going to go ahead and close this and come to the last part of the code. Okay, that was a lot of sound. Okay, now let's have a look at how our thumbnail looked like. Remember, you had a Merry Xmas written out there and I told you we were to learn how to write letters. Let's have a look at that. Now, I'm going to provide you all with only a text file of the letters writing Merry Xmas because it's very time consuming and all I want you all to do is just understand how do you go about this. It's very simple. So let's just understand this part and then we're going to end it with a final show. So for each letter, you define a new function and to that you pass any color of your choice. I'm taking the colors red, white and green. There are the official Christmas colors, right? And I wanted to go a, a little faster. So I take it to speed 25. 
Uh, sorry, a little slower, my bad. I wanted to go a little slower than the Christmas tree. So I changed the speed. I put in the color. Now I say go forward for 30, length 30. So you imagine the arrow out here. The first vertical line of M will be drawn by forward 30. Then I say the turtle, please rotate 135 degrees towards your right. So now the arrow that you see here, it's basically situated out here. Now to draw the first slant, I need it to rotate by right. Okay. So I say, please rotate that much. You, it needs to go an entire 90 degree and then 45 again. Now that it has drawn the first slant, let me try this out. Okay. This is how the turtle will look. Now I need it to go back up okay another slant so simply as you can already notice this will be a 90 degree and that's what i needed to do rotate left by 90 degree and by saying that it will come here next i say go forward by 25 length 25 okay that is that being done it comes right out here again i say rotate by 135 degree it becomes straight down and then i say go forward by 30 degree again and it comes right down here Okay, I hope I could imagine, make y'all imagine this. It's pretty simple. And I didn't write the entire Christmas because that would really be time consuming. And here's your code for M, E, R, Y and X and A. Okay, this is the entire thing. I'll be providing and S also. So I'll be providing a text file that does the code for uh, the letters. And y'all have already done the remaining part so that's it i'm gonna go ahead and run this one last time so that y'all can see it i really hope y'all enjoyed it and there you go while the tree is being drawn i'm gonna go ahead and forward this a little bit otherwise i'll be taking up your time okay so we are almost there here's your moon merry xmas Pretty nice, right? It looks pretty nice out here. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw the stars randomly anywhere you want to. There you go, you have a starry night. Very joyous and calm. Let me go ahead and make our snowman a little bit fancy out here too. We're gonna make its cap all fancy. Okay, so this was a very fun project. I really hoped you all liked it. And go ahead and wish your loved ones and you basically made your own digital Christmas card. Bye-bye. I'll see you all soon. Really hope you'll like it.